Welcome back to the Project Corner. Today I'm going to look at the new Power BI template that was released for Project Online, Project for the Web, and Roadmap. This is very exciting for me because I love Power BI and how we can interact with our data. And with this template, you can actually look into data from Project for the Web, Project Online, and Roadmap. So without diving into too much details here, let's just create this report. All right, so how did I create this Power BI project for the web and project online combination report? I, first of all, I downloaded the Power BI template. It's located on GitHub and I put a link in the show notes. So let's click on download and let's download a zip folder. Now I already did this uh, previously, so I can click on cancel here. But once I've opened this, I see that there is a project Power BI templates master file that is being extracted after you opened up that zip, opened up that zip file. And uh, here is something for project online solely, project online. And here is the one that we're going to use. So. Let's uh, skip the README for now and skip the license for now, but let's click on Project Power BI Template. Because this is a template, you automatically get requested to assign your default CDS URL and project URL. So let me help you out with finding your default CDS and getting your PWA URL. And it is a bit windy. Uh, it, and it is a bit stormy here. I don't know if you hear this, but uh, so your default CDS, navigate to um, to your project environment. So here you go, project, and open up a page called make.powerapps.com. Now in the list of apps that you already have, you might see this one here. And you need to see this one here because you want to use your um, a project for the web instance. And if you have a license that associates you with project for the web, this model driven power app is already included in your environment, which is very nice because if I click on this, I get navigated to a page and that page actually contains the URL that I need. So that is very good. Uh, there are also official routes on getting this uh, this URL, but what I found most easy is actually this one here. So let's open up that one. And I copy that to uh, my notepad, and let's don't uh, let's not forget our uh, PWA website as well, which ends with sites PWA. So once I've copied both of these, I can go back to my uh, Power BI template and I start copying the values. So let me make sure to only have the organizational URL here. And after I have both selected, I can click on load. And this might take a while because it's getting all that data from multiple sources from the web. So sit tight. And once it's loaded, we'll have a look at the data itself. So here it is, a very nice dashboard of all the projects that I have in both environments. And I see project for the web, schedules two example schedules and the first try for project for the web you might remember that from the introduction video for project for the web and my uh, bigger schedules which are in project online which is typically somewhere where i do want to have that because um yeah risks issues that's not part of project for the web yet so what do I see here? Uh, I, see so, um, I see the multiple sources and one easy way to 
distill between um, Project for the Web and Project Online is by going into the filters and here you have the project data source and I can click on project for the web and I see all of the project for the web schedules as well as navigate to only project online and this is something that is on this page specific because some of these other uh, pages are trim trimmed to just one of the sources but you can add this to all of the pages and you'll be um, able to filter on those as well. Now, a number of things that I wanted to take note of when I first downloaded this file is that there is two hidden uh, tabs here called Roadmap Key Dates and Roadmap Details. Now, if I click on that, it's going to be empty as this. There's something wrong with one or more fields. If I click on details, I might see something useful where it says that it can find uh, the fields. Well, that's true because when I look at the field section, I don't see anything related to the roadmap. So what are we going to do? We are going to go to edit queries. And in here you will see a section of roadmap items, but they're not enabled. Let's but they're not enabled so I want to click on enable load and give myself the option to actually do something in the report with the roadmap items now you might see there's alarm bells here because I'm clicking too fast for Power BI to refresh And once I click on close and apply, I will have these options added to, uh, to my screen. With the changes applied, you do see some added values here already, but there is still something wrong. And that's because there's a missing relationship between the different roadmap items. So let's zoom in a bit. And here I have a couple of values. I have a roadmap item. I will also need to have a roadmap row somewhere. Where is that? I've probably forgotten one of the items. Ah, yeah, here we go. So Ah, <laughs> need to retry this in order to make it available as a loading, uh, enable to load. So let's enable this load as well. Now everything is enabled and I would have to have five items in my roadmap section. So there are four currently and once the uh, queries are applied, I will see my fifth roadmap, roadmap row. So let's go ahead and click some dependencies together. Uh, let's create some dependencies. So roadmap item no roadmap is the highest level now you have items and you have item links and key dates key dates are actually at the same level and roadmap link should be in here actually I have a picture of what it needs to look like so we have roadmap roadmap row roadmap item so we have roadmap ID and we're going to link that
and there you have it. So let's head back over to the report itself. And here you see that there are two, well, there are three roadmaps that I already have. And then something uh, triggered me where the link is actually the whole URL. So I wanted to change that as well. And to do that, I find the link, which is in the roadmap. And here there is a roadmap URL. And I click on modify and I, and I click on data category. And I make sure that this is a your uh, a web URL. After I change that, you will see that the table will update and it will show you a like, nice little link here that you can navigate to. So roadmap details is also something that was hidden and um, it also contains two link URLs that aren't URLs in, um, in the data yet. So let's update that make sure this one is already a web URL. We did that in the previous page, but then there is another one in the roadmap external link, uh, roadmap external item link. And this is the one that you want to change. Let's click it as a web URL. So that also updated and it has a nice list of links here. So uh, with that, I hope you liked this introduction to the new Power BI template that was released. It includes project for the web, it includes roadmap, it includes project web app, it includes a whole lot. And you can extend and expand this with your own visuals. So uh, such as, for instance, let's see if it has a risk matrix doesn't so this is something that you would like to add yourself maybe so if you like this video please uh, consider subscribing and clicking that like button and I hope to see you in two weeks